your local weather authority with meteorologist Julie Hendricks. Good morning. Starting off our day drier, cooler, but still some clouds and some areas of fog this morning to contend with. You can see that precipitation is off across the southeastern part of the state of Indiana now in the Cincinnati area. The Ohio Valley will be dealing with that rain today. Closer to home once again, we do have a few areas of fog. Right now up in Crawfordsville, a three-quarter mile visibility. It's two and a half miles in Bloomington. Several stations are not reporting, but again, where we think we see some of the foggier conditions are going to be further off to the east this morning. So just know that you may encounter a little bit of fog in these early morning hours. It's 48 in Bloomington, 45 in Terre Haute, 39 in Crawfordsville this morning. Again, keep in mind yesterday morning, as you recall, we were in the 60s. So it feels a lot different out there as the day begins. You need to probably be prepared to grab a jacket this morning. Regionally, you can see there's even colder air off to the west of us where we see the upper 30s here across central sections of Illinois and where the front hasn't cleared and the rain is still falling. They're in the 50s down across the south uh, eastern sections of the state of Indiana and toward Ohio right now. All clear on our Dorset Automotive Doppler radar. We had some overnight showers for some of those southeastern areas, but that has all pushed well away from us this morning. So it's a dry start to the day. You won't have to worry about the umbrella as you head out the door this morning. But again, I would grab a jacket. I did. I was pretty happy I had a jacket as I stepped outside this morning because temperatures are cooler out there than we were yesterday. Not bad for this time of the year. And today's temperatures are actually going to get to seasonable levels. We would normally be upper 50s to near 60. And that's where we're going to find ourselves today. It's just cooler than where we've been for a large part of the week. And the clouds are going to be pretty persistent today, but once again, we're going to stay dry. We'll see some sun try to break through maybe a little bit this afternoon, but don't look for a lot. And then we're going to track the next rain chances quickly on the heels of this because by tomorrow night and into Friday, more showers begin to develop as the next system approaches a wet end to the week and start to the weekend. I think through at least Saturday morning, we'll hold on to some of that rain before that system exits. Sunshine, sun Sunday, sunshine plentiful as we start next week and temperatures are quickly going to warm up next week. This is actually along a warm front that will be pushing in some milder air as we head toward the middle of next week. So again, temperatures are going to start to cool down as we get into the weekend. We think it's going to be pretty chilly out there, maybe not even getting out of the 40s both Saturday and Sunday, but quickly we'll find that more zonal flow sets up as we get into next week, a push of some milder air will quickly make its return and I'll tell you what next week I think you're going to be happy if you like the feel of spring we'll have more of it after a chilly weekend for today temperatures will be in the mid to upper 50s which again is close to normal for this time of the year that breeze will be a factor and the clouds will be too throughout the day tonight lows back in the low 40s once again to start the day tomorrow I do think we'll stay dry through a large part of Thursday before showers move in to end the week and start the weekend. And as you can see, we may get close to 50 Saturday and Sunday, but it's going to be a chilly overnight with lows below freezing Saturday night into Sunday morning. But by Tuesday next week, we could be back close to 70 once again. Thank you, Julie.